Well, happening now at the Indiana Convention Center, the doors are open at the Indianapolis Car Show. The event is celebrating its 100th year. RTV6 reporter Julie Persley is there live with a closer look and maybe a we test drive there, Julie. The Jeep Road Course. You can ride along with your family. What we're getting ready to do is the 30 degree incline. Now, here at the Indiana Convention Center, they've got about 400 cars all under one roof. This is a great time to come out. You can actually even do this with your kids. It feels pretty crazy, but they tell me that we're totally safe as we're doing this. Now, this is a place to come in window shop talk to people like from Jeep ask questions if you're considering buying a particular vehicle they say they have people here who can answer everything for you not only is this a chance to window shop but it's a chance to dream big so we ask people what they're coming out to see probably something I'd actually buy but it's fun to jump in and out of cars that you might not actually buy uh, too just to see what they're like so. It's a nice opportunity. Get to see an awful lot of things at one place. Just thought it'd be fun to see what's coming out. And you never know when you're going to be in the market for something. So the show runs between now and New Year's Day. Doors open at 11 every day and stay open until 9, except on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I have to tell you guys, this is one of the best parts. Come out for the road course. Right now we're going over these logs here. It is hilarious to come out. They say you can even put your kids in. You can see there are a lot of kids standing around and watching. It's a great time to come out, take a look at some vehicles, and you can do it all while you are inside. So we're up on the hill now, getting ready to come over the incline. How high is this? We're at about 13 feet up in the air, and it's a 35-degree angle up. There you go, and we're doing it all in a Jeep here at the Indianapolis Auto Show. It's the 100th year. It's $7 to get in, and kids 12 and under are free. And I tell you guys, the ride is worth it. Reporting live, Julie Persley, RTV6. I see her hanging on there. At least she's buckled in there, too. Thanks, Julie.